everybody welcome back to another episode of surviving alpha 18 it is the morning of day 25 i've done a bunch more mining i'm not going back down that mine shaft um a bunch of dogs spawned in the middle of the night i spent the entire night mining with them growling above my head so i don't hear them over here we'll find out in a second i had the junk turret up the whole night um just on the floor behind me like this just in case they somehow managed to get in I don't hear them. There's at least two or three. I don't know if it was a wandering horde of dogs. Or if it was just like wolves that spawned. It sounded like the uh, zombie dogs. I'm not seeing them now though. Don't see any movement. My mine shaft is right along here. Oh, there we go. It's a bear. Fighting a tree. Now I wish I had the contact grenades. Alright, let's see what we can do to this thing. We got the piss. Oh, you know what? Let's look at the let's get the junk turret down. Let's back it up over here put it right here because most likely I'll be able to shoot him in the head and then he'll run up and not see me and I'll be able to shoot him again I wonder if it was a bear I heard I don't think so because if it was the bear I would have heard the growling now he should be able to nope he sees me all right Zombie bear. Dead zombie bear. So it must have been a wandering horde of uh, zombie dogs. Let's leave that turret up while we take this thing down. Yeah, it was probably a wandering horde of zombie dogs, the bear in tow. Come across that more times than not. Well, maybe not more times than not, but it definitely... Um, does happen where you get the zombie dogs and then the bear is like running right, right with them. I know they're over here. I thought I could hear them attacking the building. I wonder if they despawned. Because you think if it was a pack of dogs, you'd see them here. I wonder if it was just a wolf that spawned with the bear. I don't know. Let's get the bike. Get home. We got stuff we got to do. I don't want to spend all my day tracking down some stupid dogs. All right, where are you here? Oh yeah, look at the sign on the map. Ooh, gotta pick up that stone. It's very important. Oh, there you are. Scared the shiz right out of me. Get off me. Where are we here? Oh my god, that scared the crap right out of me. I was like not expecting it to be way back here. It must have followed me as I was creeping along in the in the uh, tunnel. It mu I can't see it any other way. But it didn't make any noise when I was creeping, so I didn't expect it to be way over here. Well, let's go see if there's any others. There might be a few around. I don't know. Good source of rotten flesh, bones, and leather. I don't see any. Get these potatoes though. Now that we can collect two at a time. I want to start making um, some uh, level higher level uh, food, but 
We got six points to spend. Let's get back home. We'll spend our six points, our skill points, and then head out um, and work on that base a little bit. Depends on how many, um, I don't know if we'll have enough uh, concrete mix. So maybe we go to the trader again. Half of this game is like waiting for the uh, mix to uh, to happen. Look at that, we were able to get up this time. Amazing. All right, uh, dropping some shiz off. Okay, that stopped. Let's drop these in. Um, and then, while that's going, we're going to make... Um, let's make a bunch of that for now. All right, and the iron still going, beautiful. Let's get another uh, 20. And then let's make a couple hundred forged iron. Wait, where are we keeping our ammo? Here, right? Yeah. So that should be more than enough for our dart traps. I don't think we'll need any more than 1,500. So let's get our sand out of here. How's this going? Beautiful. And how much did we get here? 554, not bad. All right, mix this up. So I don't think we got enough to do any work. Yeah, we don't really. So let's go to the trader. How much did we make conch? We did 207. We didn't have any here, did we? No, we had only had a few. All right, no point in working on the base with this little concrete. Uh, so let's get healed up. We'll head off to the trader. Use this. See what the trader's got for us. The Molotovs and the spikes done. The spikes go in here. Molotovs, nope, down here. Well, I think we've been keeping them up here, haven't we? Yeah, we got we got 25 Molotovs now, beautiful. So that's stuff for the trader. One of these guys, actually, do we have a wire tool down here? We don't. Let's keep one down here. Take the other one. I mean, it doesn't matter which one we take, I guess. But we've already got a rod and spring mod, so let's sell that one. Um, these wrenches are what? Like nothing. So we'll end up melting them. Metal chain mod. Yeah. If we find a better club, we can use it. Um, yeah, everything else is like worth really nothing. Okay. I, I wonder how much those... Now that we got... <laughs> I could scrap these guys for plastic. How much plastic do we have? Four. Two, 246. That's plenty. I wonder how much... They're worth no sell price, but if we repair them, what's a level one worth? 35, really? Okay. All right, let's go to the trader. Um, we have everything, right? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, let's uh, eat before we go. Um, let's use one of these guys. Use one of these guys. Beautiful. Let's head out. Alright, so day 25. We got one more restock day after today. Let's see if we can do a little bit of a... Yeah. All right, we got one more restock day after today before uh, the horde shows up. So let's hope we can get some good stuff. I know so we're going to spend our skill points, but we'll do that right after we Need talk assistance. to her. Uh, we've got any jobs? Clear zombies to the north. Clear zombies. Fetch to the east. We've never. I don't think we've. We, we, we've been to a town in the east. I could really use some help, friend. You the man. Let's take that one. 
All right, so uh, sell and sell, 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 and sell. Okay, so what do we got here? Chrysanthemum? No. Chili dog recipe. Military leg armor. Ah, oh, man. Let's just do it this way. It's probably better. Art of Money Volume 2 gives us what? Diamond tip blade mods? That's not bad. It just adds durability, unfortunately. I wish it did more, but it's durability only. Level 3 compound crossbow we have. Rifle parts. AK we don't need. Schematics. AP ammo would be nice. What else we got in here? Rod spring, which we gave him already. Or her. Uh, bullet tips we can make on our own. Rather spend it on AP ammo. Gunpowder. It's only 36. We'll buy it. So military leg armor. I gotta see what we're wearing here in a second. Um, forged steel 48. Okay, so it does have res she does have uh, forged steel. Look at that, a whole motorcycle. I thank you, kind sir. And I thank you, too. Uh, okay, let's check our points here. So I think what we'll do is we're going to go a couple points into fortitude, one more point into machine gunner for more damage. So that's three. I mean, we could go right up here. Four, five, and six. Because I think we're doing okay in buildings. We don't need that. Um, electrician. Yeah, I mean, electric fences and blade traps. We can make our own, but we've already got some, so I don't think we really need to go that way. Chemist, first aid kit, steroid, military fiber, hubcap mines. Yeah. Strength, we're okay. Perception, I mean, we could go lucky looter and salvage operations. Less damage from traps. Now, the penetrator, now this gives you ignore 10% of the target's armor with firearms and archery. I mean that would be good against demolishers and military zombies. But we don't we're not encountering any of them right yet. So I'm thinking we're gonna go uh we're gonna go prep for Horde Knight here. So we've got a bonus of 30% more damage. We can craft level four machine guns. And then we've got a bonus headshot damage. Yeah, perfect. Okay. We'll go that route. Right, we got our job. Let's go do this now. Let's go. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some good coin for this. All right, let's go east. What's up, girl? Oh, she tried to jump and get away from me. Trixie, very Trixie. Gotta take a little different route this this way. Or this time. We're going to go up this way because I don't think we've been this far. Let's do it this way. Earl's is up here. Got a church over there. Is that part of the town? It is. Whoa! <laughs> Can't do that in a truck. Oh, is that a traitor? That's a traitor. It's not. This here ain't. Well, that over there is. That's a traitor. It's probably traitor wrecked. Oh, my luck. Although I don't think it is. Is this another gen? No. It is. Jen's sister, Jen. Alright, let's check out what we got here. Alright, something we can sell. It's nice. It's 
So there's standard stuff in every trader that you can find, and then oftentimes there's like random things that are spawned in here because of the biome you're in. So if you know where everything is, you can just go grab it all, but sometimes you get extra stuff that spawns in here. All right, what else do we got? Not a whole lot so far. Forge is destroyed. A little bit of iron, a little bit of stone. Something else we can sell. Nothing in here. And yeah, one last place to check. One coin. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Uh, that's beautiful. Yeah, man. Level 5 Steel Fire Axe. Block damage 121, block damage 48. What a difference. What a difference. Okay. Well, that was worth stopping. I mean, cutting down trees a heck of a lot faster. Something you like. Um, may I see your inventory? Um. Yeah. Oh, man. That'll keep us in eggs till the Horde night. So we're going to go that route. Now, what else do you have? Anything important? Dart Trap Schematic. Wasteland Volume 6. Bandages. We plant fibers into cloth. Meh. Small tank mod. Wrench, no. Machine gun parts, no. Sniper Volume 6. Gunpowder. I always, I mean, I'm getting in the habit of always buying the gunpowder. It's just less you have to, to mine and make. Uh, um, yeah, less you have to mine and make. And it's so cheap, right? All right. Uh, forge steel, brass 30. Eh. Whole workbench. A lot of stuff we don't need here. Weighted head mods, rated blade. Rocket ammo, iron crossbow, pistol, machete, 762 rounds, cramp, and cramp. All right, well, I thank you, kind I'll sir. thank you too. Thank you for giving me, whoop, thank you for leaving enough stuff around here to get enough money to buy those eggs of yours. That works out. All right, Ooh, let's check this trash. Should've checked it before I went in, but whatever. All right, uh, one more. Garbage. All right. Well, I mean, it is garbage, but you know what I mean. Found garbage in the garbage. All right, let's get over here. I wonder if this is a small town or a big one. It looks rather small. Right here. Hey, Mo. Mo's got no groin left. Yeah, now I can know. <laughs> now I know I can do that. I'm gonna be doing it all the time. Let's go deal with Mo before we take this place on. What's up, Mo? What's up, Mo? See ya. All right, let's do this. Uh, do I wanna? No, I'm not gonna double loot. We're just gonna go. Wow. Now we know how to get in. No vultures. Should probably turn the light off now. A little bit of iron. I should have dumped stuff off on the bike. Let's go do that. Ah, uh, here we go. That's better. Alright, let's get the junk turret out. Don't know if we'll need it, but might come in handy. Don't see anybody here. Make sure we're loaded and ready to go. 
loaded for bear. As long as there's no bear up here, we're fine. It's the ever elusive roof bear. Oh, for Christ's sake, you know. I don't even know what to say to that. That was just so bad. And there's an airdrop. Because of course there is. Every horde day there's an airdrop. Or sorry, every uh, restock day there's an airdrop that is. You know, I should have expected something like that to happen up here, but whatever. We got pretty good armor on, so it's like, you know, it's not like I'm worried about taking too much damage, but... Okay. Um, I don't think we're coming back up here. So let's do this. Get that brass while we can. Hopefully there's some radiators down here too that we can pick some brass up from. And then let's do this. And make some of this. Get it out of our inventory. All right. Okay, close the door. I'm clicking on the wrong side. Oh my God. Time to stop playing. You know, <laughs> you know there's those moments that you're just so tired. It's just like, okay, okay, I can't do this anymore. Not that I'm tired. I'm just like zoned out. It's a day off for me. I needed to take a sanity day off. Ah, I missed. He got tr Oh, he stuck between the, uh... Yeah, I can see how you... I can see how you can get stuck in there, because it's like... You can't get up. Actually, that's... That's like an interesting idea for a horde base. Reinforce concrete all the way along, change it to steel. So they come down a corridor with this angle block. They're most likely not going to hit on this. Make this reinforced concrete with a block above. So there's only like this little slot here. Like one of these half blocks above it. So you got a full block wide. Now dogs would be able to get in still, but regular zombies wouldn't. a bag in there. Should we access that from the next room? Let's hope. I don't know why I'm taking the paper. Ooh, can we get lucky here? Oh, oh, uh, what, what? Sure. That looks all quiet. I should be looking up too, I guess. This does not look good. Biker? Anybody over here? Is this a wardrobe? No. Oh, we got a guy over here too, though. Take the one shots where we can get them. Let's hope you're not a runner. Nope. You're a pin cushion for crossbow bolts. Beautiful. Oh, bookshelves. Nice. Structural brace. Crap. Oh, urban combat. What's this one? So let's, uh, let's use... Uh, I don't want to make that. Military stealth boots. Yes, please. So, I've got military st stealth boots on one of my other uh, playthroughs, and they're the same as just military boots, with the exception that they have zero um, increase the sound. So essentially, you know, stealth boots. Because everything adds, like, light armor adds 10% to, to sound increase for each piece that you wear. 
So the military stealth boots add actually 0%. Which is nice. I mean, if you're, if you're wearing light armor, every little bit helps. And they're relatively cheap to make, too. That's the beautiful thing about them. Another duster. Okay, let's start scrapping some stuff here. Scrap this. We don't need the paper. Take those. Don't need the pipes. Okay. You know what? We don't need the cans either. We got like 50 something of these cans already. Oop. It's nice of you to lay all nice and sprawled out. I should just like grind shot them, but. Oh, it's a runner. Notwithstanding three of those shots, though. And this guy. Nope. Nope. Come on, we can get this guy. Yeah, you know what? Easiest way to do it. Let's just do it the easy way. Do I need to do everything the hard way? No. No, I don't. But most of the time I do. Did I just hear some breathing outside? Like from a bear or a dog or something? Oh yeah, there's going to be somebody in there, I bet you. Nope. Could have been bad. What about there? Okay. Got a radiator here that I want. Oh, we still got to go down, eh? What do we got here? I can't see how passing out pills is very hard work. Passing out pills? Passing out pills? 90% of my work. Sorry guys, it's uh, from a gun spoke. <laughs> One of the editing assignments we had when we were back in college. We had to edit gun smoke. They gave us a gun smoke episode to edit. And the doctor is just like... The main guy's like, you know, hey, I can't see how passing out pills is very hard work to the actual doctor. And the doctor's like, passing out pills? Passing out pills? 90% of my work is surgery and delivering babies in the middle of the night. Yeah, but, you know, you think you're in the middle of a western town. How often is that really going to happen? 90% of your work, sure. You can say 90% of your work all you want. But when 90% of your work only happens like 5% of the time... It's really not a whole lot. Alright, well... See that? Cat-like re cat -like reflexes. Ooh. Hey, doctor. What's up? Apparently not much. Is this a... Oh, it's a bed. Okay. I thought it was like a bath or something. A filled up murky bath. <gasps> oh, yes, please. Okay, we need to get a shotgun turret going on Hort Knight. Now we can make it. Okay, which way? This no, that door's locked. Probably supposed to go out here again. You're gonna make me break that, are ya? Yeah, that corner doesn't look ominous at all. Okay, we're gonna drop this and scrap and scrap. Waiting for the bird to be out here. Don't see one though. Ooh, pool table. And another thingy in there that we want. Radiator. And an unlocked door. Wasn't well, that convenient? Hundred bucks says there's a runner in this room. Oh, 
Oh, we got somebody in there, though. I think I can get him. Try one more time. Nope. I was hoping we'd get really lucky. We all know how well my luck is. Oh yes, of course. Let's use that instead of hitting him. That's so much better. <laughs> uh, well, it's a good thing we raided that uh, popping pills. We got lots of bandages. All right, let's take this sucker. Yeah, I knew I was hearing a dog out here. Oh, it's a whole, uh, yeah, that's not good. I wonder if we can get, uh... Watch this. You guys beat on that. Whoops. Oh, can't see them from there. What about from... Oh, shoot! If today hasn't been a fiasco, I have no idea what like what you would consider a fiasco. <laughs> At least they broke the door to get for me to get inside. Oh my god. At least they didn't really do any damage to me. I knew I was hearing something outside. Okay, we're gonna go back <laughs> to the front door. Ah. Uh. At least we... Oh yeah, you know what? I wanted to come outside because I wanted to drop some stuff off in the bike. That's why I was out here. Well, we got meat for days now. This is ridiculous. 132. Wow. I'll take it. I guess I really should just get in the habit of putting the turret down and leaving it down. All right, let's get back inside. I could heal up, but what's the point? Oh, they took the easy way in. Oh, brass candlestick? Uh, learning from my, my uh, past experiences. Let's do that. While we wrench the brass out of these. 22, that's it, eh? Well, better than nothing. Okay, we want to take that. Well, let's see. What the heck is that up there? In some kind of a cultist house, I think. So, let's scrap these. Okay, we were just up there. Let's get these out of the way. Oh, I don't like this. Well, that guy didn't make it. Sorry about that, buddy. Not really. I'd like to say I'm sorry, but I did say I was sorry, but I'm not really sorry. It's kind of cool you get candles out of these, too. Alright, let's make this a shorter experience, because we need to get out of here. I want that airdrop, too.
Anytime you're shining a light into a doorway, could be bad. Bet you there's somebody right in here. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Okay, let's scrap these. Oh! There it is, folks. Beautiful. Let's grab this radiator. That was a cop. Nope. <laughs> Just a tourist. He's just passing through. What do we got in here? Oop. Uh, starving tourist challenge. Wow. Really? Just kill the starving tourist and uh, we got a challenge to kill more. What do we got here? Alright, let's get out of here. Could spend time looking through stuff, but what's the... Wow. You know what? Oh, that's the basement. Yeah, that doesn't look happy. Let's go down to the basement because, you know... What could be bad down there? Alright, let's get out of here. We don't have time to waste. If we want to get that airdrop, we got to go now. So, let's try and get the airdrop, I think. It's going to be cutting it close. Well, good thing it was really close by. Beautiful. Come on, be something good like an AK or an M60. Ugh. Well, we got more healing for uh, Horde Knight. Because you damn well know we're going to need it. Now, I know I said I was going to head straight home, but... I'll be damned if I'm going to give up... Uh, free mix. It's taking forever for us to uh, generate this stuff, so... Let's just grab it. we got tons of stone. We don't need that. There's more around front here. going to grab that, too. I know there's a lot more inside this place, but we don't have time to fight anything. Let's just get out of here. You know what would be an interesting addition to this game? Wow, look at this. I wish I knew why it does this. Such a bizarre land formation. I gotta get to the other side of this. Be okay here? There we go. So, as I was saying, what would be a cool addition to the game uh, in the future is if they add um, radios and what you'd be able to do is build a radio, give it to the trader, and then any other trader that you find, as long as you give them a radio, um, when you're at one trader's location, you can radio another trader, trader location to see if they've got what you want. I think that would be cool. So if you found like all the traders, let's say like six traders or five traders or however there, many is there is on a map, and um, you're looking for let's say forged steel for instance, and you can't find it, you go to the first trader, you can't find it. As long as they've got a radio and one of the other traders has a radio, you can radio the other trader to see if they've got any forged steel, and their inventory will show up in the uh, inventory list. And if they do, then you can ride over and get it. And if they don't, well, you don't. You, you're saving your trip, right? That would be kind of a cool idea, I think. It would, it would be an interesting way, like even if you're playing multiplayer, let's say, and you've got two players with shortwave radios, um, you could have like a, a storage chest attached to the shortwave radio um, that if someone's looking for something, they could call you up on the shortwave radio and just basically look at your inventory. Whether you're there or not, it's irrelevant. It would just be they could look in your inventory and see if you've got, you know, something that they need or would like, and they, they could make you an offer or whatever. It would be kind of like a mail system, but not, you know? Because you can't obviously um, transfer it through the radio, obviously, but uh, you can at least see if the person has it. You go. All right, steel shovel. We got a level three already. Other leg armor, no. 
How much is this worth? Seven fifty-six. I mean, I think we're okay for ammo. We can make a whole bunch. Selling this for the Dukes would be good. Block damage is 89. 94, way better. Uh, yeah, because then we can buy forged iron with this. We could buy what? Eight forged iron? Is it worth it? Probably. Oh, okay. Shotgun slug ammo, 660, 38, 76. All right. Uh, we're not using shotguns, so let's sell it all off. Let's sell this off and then go to resources and grab as much forged steel as we can. We can get all of it. We can get it all. Beautiful. Nice. And there really wasn't anything else we wanted here. So that's good. I think we're good here. Oh, we want to sell this. Thanks for shopping here. Yeah, Come man. Again. Now, was there anything else in the bike? Before we go. Because I don't think we're going to be... We'll be... Well, we, we might be back one more day before Horde Night. Uh, we want to sell these guys. This guy. This guy. I think that's it. Looks pretty good. All right, so let's uh, I don't think we're really going to get a chance to paint anything, but we're taking the paint anyway. All right. Beautiful. Peace be with you, my friend. I think we'll have enough for Horde Knight. That level 1 M60 is concerning me though. I think we might end up using the AK most of the night, but we'll have the M60 there. A loot bag in the middle of nowhere. That is like the most bizarre thing ever. I guess the zombie must have just ran his expiry date and died and dropped a loot bag in the middle of nowhere. Well. Too bad for him, good for me. Alright, let's get this stuff inside, and I think we'll call it an episode. I will work tonight, <coughs> excuse me, on maximizing the amount of resources we have so we can work on the base again tomorrow. Um, I'm really hoping we have that main level up with the door on by end of day tomorrow, just so we can see how things are going to play out. Um, I think it's going to be really important moving forward to make sure that uh, uh, at least that base layer is up. Um, so if we run out of like time, which I got a feeling we, we might just run out a little bit of time before it's 100% ready, um, that at least it's it's you know at a point where I feel comfortable that we can hold down the horde with it. All right, that's the rest of the stuff from the bike. So let's get in, drop it off. Um, and we'll see how our cooking is doing here. I don't mean cooking, cooking, I mean stone cooking. Oh, 10,000, beautiful. Let's get that going. Yeah, it's, I think we get a lot less than we used to get. I thought it was a thousand per 500 before. So cement seems to be a lot less than it used to be. Unless I'm mistaken. I mean, I could be mistaken, but that's a, that's what it feels like. Uh, some more iron. Alright guys, I'm going to sort this. Uh, get stuff laid away. Take this out of here. Um, and end the episode here. Um, when we come back next time, we will be working on the horde base. Um, trying to get that up and running as much as possible. Um, like I said, I want to get the door on tomorrow. Um, so that means we have to make sure that we've got the right height for it um, and all that stuff. Uh, so that will be the goal for tomorrow's episode or the next episode. It might not be tomorrow, but 
we'll see I'm recording a bunch again I'm recording a bunch of these back to back so let's see how it goes um, I am getting a bit tired so I most likely will stop at this point um, and then we'll pick it up again where we go uh, we'll pick it up again um, when I'm feeling a little better drop this stuff in here now we haven't been holding on to magnum rounds I guess we don't really need to all right there we go all right so any uh ending the episode there hope you enjoyed it until next time we'll see y'all later